Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video I'm gonna be showing you an application here that you can use to turn your tablet, so an Android 6 or above one, or an iPad into an external touchscreen monitor via USB. So if you happen to be like me, you travel with both a laptop and a tablet, this is something handy to have without having to bring along one of those portable external monitors. So to get up and running, first we're going to need to download the PC program, Tumon SE. So head over to easyandlight.com, you can see the address right there in the top, download the PC program. At the time of this video, there doesn't seem to be any Apple support here at the moment. And then later on, I will install the app. So get this downloaded. It's about, you can see 138 megabytes. Install it. And then you need to connect up the tablet you're gonna use via USB. And then of course, you are also going to need the application on your tablet. So here I'm using an Android tablet, so I need to get the Android version. It's going to cost nine euros 49 or 10 US dollars. Now, if you look down in the taskbar here, you will see we've got Tumon SE there running in the background. So when you connect up a tablet, it will automatically detect that and start duplicating the display over or set it up as an extended display. If you right click it, you've got different settings here, which are very important. So you can control the resolution you're gonna see on your tablet, the scaling mode and the performance mode. Now I find it's best to set the performance mode onto high performance, that will give you the best latency. So this is one of the ways you could use it, of course. So if I happen to be traveling with my Mi Pad 4, then I can use it as an extended display or a duplicate display. Now I believe that most people would use it as an extended one. You could duplicate it if you wanted to, but most use case scenarios I would say would be like this. So I'm looking at some content right here on my main screen of the laptop. You can see I've got my website open. And right here, I could be looking at one of my favorite tech YouTube channels. And you can see that works just fine. Now the audio is coming through right now on the laptop here and the touch support is working. So all the brightness and everything that's controlled on the tablet still goes through the tablet of course uh, with Android in this case. As you can see here, so if I swipe down from the top because remember this is actually just an Android application running showing the image that's on here. And by the way, USB debugging, you make sure you have this on Otherwise, I don't think it is going to work. So I can go along here and I can tweak the brightness of the screen as you normally would. And the touch response, I just wanted to demonstrate that. So it is very good. I didn't expect the latency to be as good as it currently is right now because I'll just click here on one of my videos, for example, just bring up uh, this one right here. Okay, that's my internet loading that in then. But you can see that it's actually really quite good. I thought that it would have quite a bit of delay, I guess because I'm so used to using things like Miracast, and I've noticed that when it's on the normal mode, you then get a little bit of choppiness to the display, as I'll demonstrate. As you can see now, see how that has a little bit of delay there? I think it's more the refresh rate that, that it is, because the input seems to be fine, it just doesn't seem now to be refreshing as fast. If I put it on to low power, you can't see me doing this on my PC because of the camera, but now on to low power, you see it flash then, that's the change. And you can see now that that, wow, you can see it is a lot choppier. So that's trying to save power on my tablet actually with the application, so it's not using so much. I will flip it over to full power again. So high performance. So it flashes, and now look, you can see that to me is good, that scrolling now, that is just very smooth. So just go out of this, actually just hit the back there. The accuracy with touch here is the same as the touch digitizer here on my tablet too as well, as you can see. As mentioned, I'm running it as an externals display at the moment. So I could take my website here or Excel spreadsheet, whatever, and move that over onto the tablet. You can see that that is very quick. I just did that. Move it right back here now and put it back onto my main laptop. So if I wanted to run it just as a duplicate, display, then simply go into Windows 10 settings, as you can see I'm doing, click this and keep the changes. And now you can see there it is duplicating the display. So let's take a look again at the input lag. So I'll move this around. You can see there's a milliseconds delay there between my laptop and then the display itself. But it really is good. All right, so overall I think this is handy to have this application for those of you that don't wanna lug around a secondary portable monitor, which can be a lot bigger. And you might be always traveling with your tablet anyway. For example, you've got an iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch version, so a large screen. 
you always travel with you happen to have a Windows laptop that is because on Apple there's no support at the time of this video at the moment I hope that is going to change in the future then you can use it as a touch secondary monitor which is very handy as I've shown you the latency turned out to be much better than I expected I expected it to be a little bit laggy now it is only laggy on the low setting and the normal setting there's a little bit as well but especially on the low now low of course is to save your tablets battery because you're plugged in with USB and if you're on a high screen brightness on the high performance you slowly and eventually you are losing battery power so that's one thing you really want to start out with your tablet fully charged if you can and you can still use it and as I showed still control the screen brightness and use it as a normal tablet it's just launch the app plug it in as long as you've got it installed and then it works which is great so like me I always travel with the tablet normally I can now use it as a secondary monitor Thank you so much for watching this particular video here from me and I do hope to catch you back in the channel for more videos up and coming. Bye for now.